they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear on the. Hey, what's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. It's Cody, and we here with. You be Kate Chopper, nigga. Bow. The artist to watch 2024. Yeah, man. About Tom. What you mean about Tom? What do you mean? About like, Tom, like, I just, that's all I've been saying. About Tom. <laughs> you feel like you was getting slept on? Like, what happened? Yeah, I feel like I was getting slept on for a long time. How long yeah. you been rapping for? I probably say, like, rapping for like two years now, serious. Is two that years. long? Um, it feel long. I feel it's long. Not like, like it fake feel long. Yeah, it fake for like a little. I had to take my. I, I know everybody got to go through their journey though. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is part of my journey and shit. Yeah. So you definitely have the most votes. You had like five thousand something. Right behind you was Assassin. Did you feel like you had any competition last year? Um. For like artists to watch, like people was coming up. Like who you feel like was like right behind you or next to you or whatever. Um, like everybody, it. everybody was for me. I feel like everybody for me was doing their thing in their own way. I don't know. I don't really, I ain't really like pay attention to everybody that was on on the list. But mm -hmm. I, I, I seen like a couple of people. Though. I seen like no, nah, I don't. They don't have to be on the list. Just in general, like last year was. I feel like it was mad new artist. Um, like it was a, it's a couple, it's a couple good artists coming up. Like I fuck with that little like the little Afro drill shit that was going on. Bobby Sussex, yeah, yeah. That, that shit was sturdy. I fuck mm -hmm. that. I fuck that shit. That shit nice. Um, yeah. What do you I feel like was your song that got you like up this year? What twenty twenty three? Um, I don't even know. I think I think was dropping like a lot of shit. I don't really know. Like I think went on like a little run. I would call it. Okay. I'm gonna say. For me, I got put on with the whole KJ shot it when you did all the different um, yeah beats. shit like that. That's what I say. Like I feel like that was like part of my run. Like first, I did the shit with my son B Love. That was like first shit part of my run. Then I did the KJ shot it shit. Mm -hmm. I dropped a couple more after that. Yeah. So the KJ shot it shit was did somebody inspire you to do all those beats? Cause nah, nobody inspired me. Like, We've well, seen that, that done is, before. That, that, that is some me shit. I ain't gonna lie, like. So we seen that done before. Did you feel like you could do better or? Yeah. I feel like I did it better already. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shout out to the niggas that did it before. Now, okay, so get it, let's get into your name, EBK Chopper. Um, why that name? Um, I mean I used to play bull and shit. So I used to go by chopper and shit. Mm -hmm. So for me, I used to just for me put the EBK and shit. That's when for me the pros be on EBK Thomas. We just be on EBK Thomas. So I just put the EBK with it. Just so EBK is abbreviating for everybody K, right? Yeah. So who's valid? If everybody K, then who you fuck with? Like who's your, who's your homie? Uh, I fuck with a couple people, man. Like I ain't gonna lie, I fuck with a couple people. The ones know, the ones that know, know. You heard? I ain't gonna say no names, but they just know we locked in. I mean, who's locked in specifically? Cause like people was really upset about the link up with Shimi. Uh, um. Yeah, for me that's. I'm how that's but that? like a lot of people don't know like that's like behind the scenes shit like me and bro been knew each other for like before niggas was even rapping serious and shit like this shit mm -hmm. that niggas don't even know about you, for me that's been bro so it was a surprise to like that net you feel me mm -hmm. but to us it's just like regular shit that's why we ain't like really like taking no type of way i ain't taking no type of way person i'm just like for me mm -hmm. that's bro that's what it is have y'all all spoke behind the scenes because who's all mad wasn't it like ek b loving them is mad who's mad nah, my son be love with them man Okay. B Love is never mad. He's never always mad. just EK wasn't EK wasn't tight either. So who was mad? Who he was just he was just like damn like, just he ain't he ain't really expected. I feel like a lot of people ain't really expected. Like I feel like nobody was really mad. It was just like a shock type of thing. Okay. But you still go with everybody. Yeah, for me. Okay. I know. All right, so but working with you worked with him, you worked with EK, B Love, you worked with J Easy. How'd you link him? Um, that's my son. I've been in that nigga for years. I went to school with that nigga. You went to school with everybody. Nah, let's, let's I went to school. I went to school with that nigga Ola. I used to go to the teen center with that nigga Ola. He from he from I'm from the same town as that nigga. We all like that's my son. Like a lot of niggas don't know that. We all from the same town. Like that's my son. Like we just different. Like he okay. just do his own thing and I and I just do my own thing. Like, you feel me? That's the good thing about niggas. Like yeah. everybody do their own shit. Okay. Was it like hard? Cause Jay Z, I feel like sound is different from like the drill shit. So was it hard like switching up and fucking with that or 
Um, nah, not really. I just put my, I put like, I'm, I'm, I don't really consider myself like as an OD drill rapper because I got like a lot, of, I got songs that's not drill. Like, I just feel like yeah, I could rap it. Yeah, switched it up this year. Yeah, I feel like I could rap in general. Mm-hmm. So it just like, it wasn't really hard. I just put my creative shit and feel me just match it in with his, match it his vibe tape shit. Okay. And then even a while back, you had a song with Zeffy Lee. Facts. Yeah. Y'all still locked in? We cool. I ain't, I ain't talked to her in a minute though. But I see she going up though. Not facts. So how was that like working with girls? Cause was that the only girl you worked with? Yeah, right now. Um, it's not. It's not. It's not like I don't know how to explain. Like it's cool. Like I fuck. I've been fucked to her side on the shit. She was been nice for a minute. Mm-hmm. For me, it was a it was a cool little link up for me. I feel like that was just some different shit that I needed to do, like mm-hmm. to expand my catalog and shit. Okay. So, any other female artists you want to work with? Cause females um, is, is fake buzzing right now. Yeah, I want to work. I want to work with a lot of female artists. For me, okay. but give us like, like I, two, three big small. I want to do like some shit with like some singing lady or something. Like a sing, like a singer artist. A That's singing like, lady is crazy. Not like a singing lady, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, like a lady that do R and B more or less. For Why me, she like, got to be a lady? It could be a girl that do R and B. Like a girl lady, same thing. It's all the same thing. <laughs> It's all the same category. I feel like when you say lady, it sounds old. That's all. All right, so some girl singers, who you listen to? Do you listen to singers? Yeah. So who who you trying to work my with? Son Scissor, music my son Scissor. I jack up music heavy. Too. That's my son. I ain't gonna lie. I fuck all the track. <laughs> I want to get on the track while... Um, I don't know. I don't really know. Like, for me, I just got to think. I don't really know so what's top of my head. females like that. I do, but it's just like, it's random. When I listen to them, like, I can't think of the head. Like, okay. I, you feel me? Okay, so give us the backstory. How'd you get into music for real? Um, I've always been around music since I was a kid and shit. Like, I've been freestyling for mad long. Like, I had to, I got to record a song. Like, I lost that shit because my phone broke, but I had to record a song when I was like nine years old. Birch in the studio. I was in, you was in the studio. studio? Yeah. My uncles and shit all used to rap and shit. Like, I was just always okay. around mad people who was doing music and shit. But I was like on some sports shit at first. I just used to freestyle on the side, horse around. I definitely performed at like some bar when I was like ten years old. Swear to God, I've been around music for mad long. Okay. Allegedly, because you're not supposed to be in the bar at ten. But okay. <laughs> so when did you like want to take music seriously for yourself? Um. Like when was you going to the studio? When was you like, yeah, I'm really about to do this? Because and not. I probably say ball. I probably say like right before COVID, like probably like right before COVID really took the world by a storm. I was like, hey, going to the store already. Already making shit for me, like, nah, like, I'm thinking gonna start shooting fizz and shit. That's when I already started doing it. When COVID hit, was basketball, like, out the window? Or, like... Nah, I wasn't out the window. I was still, like... Playing ball. Playing ball and shit. Okay, so if you wasn't doing music, what do you think you'll be doing right now? Probably playing ball. <laughs> <laughs> Gangsta, probably playing ball. Was you into something else? Like, college and different, like, career path? Or, like, it was always music and then ball? Nah, I was always, like, I was always, like, on some music or sports shit. For me, I never was like an OD. I was never a dummy, but I wasn't no like OD brainiac in school and shit. Yeah. So who was you listening to growing up? Like who's some who you grew up listening to? Um, I grew up listening to like a lot of different genres of music. I say I grew up listening to like Biggie Smalls, shit like that. Like I ain't gonna lie, I had a lot of like older figures around me. Like they used to play that, like Biggie Smalls, Jay Z, feel me, Eminem, shit like that. Like. That's why, like, if you really listen to my raps, I don't only be on some trail shit. I be, like, on some, like, fake lyrical shit, too, though. Merge. How do you feel about the whole drill shit right now? Um, for me, a lot of people say it's dying down, but I don't really think that, though. Like, yeah. I, feel, I feel like a lot of more, I feel like a lot of new, like, art is still going up, though. Like, for me, that's yeah. why I say it's not dying down already, because, like, it's still, like, new shit getting added, new people, new faces being seen. Right. The city was hype when D-Thing came home. They're like, he gonna save Drill. Do you feel like Phil, Drill was dying out? Or you feel like it's been like... Nah, niggas been doing anything. For me, so, niggas been doing anything. I don't think he saved anything. But, you know, let the fans tell it. Type shit. So who's who you feel like in Drill was really like top five? Like really did they thing? Made a name in Drill? Like old Tom? Um, we're gonna say New York, cause old time y'all gonna go Chicago. We're gonna say New York. Nah, old time New York list. Yeah, who's your top five? 
Pop Smoke. Okay. Me. Okay. Um. Like, like you gotta really think about it though. Like, really, like Pop Smoke. Like, even like Two Two G's. Like, he fake started that. Like, mm-hmm. no funny shit. Yeah, um, people don't give Two Two flowers till we oppy, but um, he been outside. Them two. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So you got two more because you said yourself. Um. As a matter of fact, I'm taking out the list. As a matter of fact. Okay. I'm taking out the okay. list. I'm going to just keep it like some real nigga shit. All right. Pop Smoke, 2-2 two, two Gs. Mm-hmm. I'd probably say... I'd probably say like Favi, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, K-Flock, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, we going to last spot, too. This is your top five, so well, whatever you feel. Nah, I'm going to just do like... <laughs> for me, this I'm gonna just do like some for Brooklyn. Though. I I just like name like the Brooklyn fake legends type shit. Like mm-hmm. for me, the Brooklyn like, like those say like the Brooklyn like niggas that fake like start like the drill scene made it like okay. known type shit. For me, I was just saying that. For me, okay. for me, K Flock and them fake made it loud for like the Bronx. Okay. So I, I fake put we'll them in there, and then yeah. One person, nobody. Um. I say K Flock and B Love probably top five, like okay. old time, cause they fake for me. When that shit, when this shit fake started, like those was fake, like mm-hmm. the main niggas. Like, you want to say, you want to say. Mm-hmm. Are you from you from Harlem or are you from the Bronx? Neither. Oh my bad, where you from the Bronx? Man? I'm from Middletown, upstate. I'm from the same place Jay Easy from. Oh okay okay okay, you did say that. So when did you come out here, or you still live up there? I still I still live out there. Okay, so you was just outside over here. Yeah, I fuck with a couple <laughs> niggas. I've been knowing niggas for I've been knowing like certain niggas for a mad long. Like before like niggas was rapping and shit. Like I used to play mm-hmm. ball and shit. So like you feel me, you know that shit required travel. So I used right. to I used to fake stay out here with my coach for me. I used to play ball for a team in the city and shit. For me, mm-hmm. I used to play for a couple teams in the city. So I used to just be around niggas, know certain niggas from different places. So for me, I just end up creating like relationships with niggas. So for me, once niggas all got into like the same thing, it just niggas just fake click and I was fake for me. That's just how it was. Okay. All right. So, boom. So, you was out here visiting. So, what makes somebody your mans? Like, what makes somebody like, all right, you, we locked in, you gang? Um, I feel like I got to go through shit. You feel me? You got to see what somebody really about. If they really jamming for you and shit. Shit like that. And then, like, what's something that's, I guess, like, no turning back from? Something that's no turning back from? Yeah, like, if you want me to do this, there ain't no looking back type shit. Like. Like, what's your limits? Like, what's your limits? If you still for me, like, you should never come back from that. Mm-hmm. Um, for me, dis- disrespect the deceased, of course. Okay. Can like never come back from that. Disrespecting your deceased, right? Huh? Disrespecting your deceased, right? Yeah, disrespecting my deceased. That type shit. For me. Some people feel a way about if you link in, like, they ops or something. Like nah, I feel like, man's like yeah, I feel like, like, how do I explain it? <laughs> like, it's it's, a, it, it's like shit like that be weird nowadays. Like for me, it just be like, like I right, boom. Say you and your man's, you heard? Yeah, you and your man's and another person. Y'all all three was man's when y'all was kids. You heard? Mm-hmm. Y'all all grew up together. Boom, but shit just started getting weird. Like out of nowhere and shit. For me, niggas fell out. He he faked that. For me, he faked my up now. He faked mm-hmm. folks the other side. If you chill with him, you not weird. Because we all grew up together, you heard? Okay. You grew up with him, too. That's not some weird shit. Like, you been fuck with him before, like, it was even smoke. So, it's not, like, some weird dick riding shit if you go chill with him. But right. if you like, if he just linking the ops that was never chilling around, never knew, that's different for okay. me. But if it was like that, then that's not some weird shit. Okay. The reason I asked was because you had a back and forth with this Philly artist. Um... I don't want to say his name wrong, but Mr. Disrespectful. What happened with that? Did y'all ever do a song or what happened? Yeah, we did a song. So we not going to get the song, I guess? Nah, but it dropped already. It's out. Oh, it's out. Okay. Yeah. So y'all good now? Y'all spoke? Nah, it's we ain't really, static? We didn't really like, speak. Like, it was like never, what it was, happened? It was never really static. Like, I mean, it was like behind the scenes. Like, niggas was fake doing some weird pill talk and shit, like behind the scenes. You feel me? And I was in Jagna. So I just, for me, brought everything to the light. Like, just told niggas about they so. For me, I don't really, for me, call it static, you heard? Mm-hmm. But I said what I said. How you feel about, like, the Philly niggas calling, like, New York pussy and shit? Like, 
Um, a lot of niggas don't really know, like, <laughs> the real, like, what really be going on and shit. So, I feel like niggas shouldn't even speak on it. That's, like, for me, just, like, how we shouldn't be speaking on what they got going on because we don't really know what they really get into. You feel me? You just know mm-hmm. niggas off the rap. And when yeah. they pull up on you, like, you feel me? You don't really know what niggas doing. They back in. So, do you, like, try to keep, like, music separate from personal or, like, how you going about it moving forward so that you don't have these weird, like... I feel like just keep shit straight business, like, a lot of shit gotta be straight business. A lot of shit don't even need to require friendships. A lot mm-hmm. of shit just business. You feel me? And that's how a lot of shit should be going about it. You feel mm-hmm. me? Niggas be getting too personal. A lot of shit be too personal. Niggas be thinking everything personal because niggas be thinking niggas they means, but shit is about business. Right. And then, like, a couple weeks ago, you know, EK and Lil TJ had they back and forth. They was gonna supposed to box. Mm-hmm. You feel like you would box somebody or you're not getting in the ring with niggas? Cause um, that's not music. I don't know. If niggas that's pay, like, like how they was trying to do it, I do it. You would do it for money. Yeah. I feel. Like, I don't know. I feel like. I don't know. I don't really like the whole artist boxing shit. I feel like if they set it up professionally, like how they was trying to do it, I feel like it could be like as a thing. You feel me? If they just trying to box it on some street shit, then it's not gonna work. <laughs> but if they do it like professional, how like eight and them was trying to set it up or some, mm-hmm. put the bring the yeah, bread out. Bread yeah, 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 that's different. So you you will box out like any ops that you had a problem with type shit, yeah, or like for some bread. For the bread, yeah. Not for like that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what are you working on twenty twenty four? Like what's up next? What you what you got planned? Um, I got a lot of shit coming. I got. For me, I'm trying to drop a tape soon. Mm-hmm. Definitely dropping a tape to really like show niggas I'm on some real versatile shit. Like I'm more than just like a drill artist. I don't like getting again put in that category. Who's putting, like, I I have not yet said you're a drill artist. You feel like people put you in a drill artist category? Yeah, like, I feel like, I feel like I be in a drill artist. Like, I feel like I just be, like, they just do that to a lot of, a lot of drill, like, a lot of rappers in general from, from New York. Because mm-hmm. for me, a lot of niggas do make their name off, like, the drill rap per se, but, like, a lot of niggas could do different shit. And I'm just one of those niggas who could talk. Like, I could just talk. Like, I could just rap. That's all I can say. If you had to compare yourself to somebody else, who would you compare yourself to? Artist wise. Nobody. I don't know. I don't really I don't really like compare myself to people. So what makes you stand out versus everybody else? Number one, where I'm from, like for me, a lot of niggas don't really got the history about like where I'm from, where I grew up, for me, what niggas been through and shit. So for me that already make me stand out. It's like a Oh, like he from over there and he talking like this, like you get it. That's already like making me stand out. And I'm just for me, I feel like I just stand out because like I am who I am. Like I don't never hold my tongue. Like I'm always just a I'm just me. I'm always gonna speak on how I feel mm-hmm. and say what I gotta say, more of the story. How do you feel about like do you feel like you're creating a new wave or do you feel like you what do you think? Um Yeah, that's a plan to create a new wave, like just create a whole new wave, cause like for me, you you gotta know people wanna hear new shit. Right. So I'm just trying to create mad new shit, do different shit like mad different genres of music. Mm-hmm. For me, how do you feel about the whole sexy drill wave right now? Shit fire. A lot, a lot. It's good for the females. Like I see, like all the females fuck with that shit. So mm-hmm. for me, that's what's really gonna make get niggas big in in the long run. Mm-hmm. So I fuck with that shit. That shit hard. Um, do you feel like you would do a song like that, or you feel like you did a song like that, or? Nah, I don't feel like I would do a song like that on my dolly because I don't like to, for me, try to steal niggas' waves or hop on niggas' trends. But, like, if I was to do a song with one of the originators, I would get on any type of time. Mm-hmm. For me, that's just what I would do. Okay. Do you feel like you have lady records? Yeah. I have some for females. Out now? Mm, I don't think so. See, I, 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 like, I got, like, some pain shit. But it's not no. like it's not like no sexy drill shit like. No, it don't have to be sexy I mean, drill, but like song for the ladies. It could be for girls to dance. It could be for girls to. Whatever. Nah, yeah, I feel, I, I can say I got a song for the ladies, and it's like some, some pain shit like shit you can relate to. You, you know don't what sound I too confident. Yeah, some that, shit you can like. relate to. Yeah, because <laughs> I like I don't know how to explain. Like I'm thinking talking about like, and the songs when I be on some switch it up shit, I be talking about pain like heartbreak and shit. Shit niggas have to go through and shit. Mm-hmm. So for me, I mean I wouldn't. I'm not specifically dedicating it to the ladies, but mm-hmm. it's just like a, it's for the people. Okay. Do you feel like you have more girlfriends or boyfriends? Um, 
Or you don't I probably say I probably got more like more male and kids like fans. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you want to get more lady fans? Do you care? Or yeah, like? that's the plan. <laughs> I definitely want to get more lady fans. So drop sure. some lady records. Like give us something to for me. Nah, I'm about to for sure. Okay, so definitely project 2024. For sure. Right. And I'm like, so how's dating like being in the spotlight? Dating and being in the spotlight? Yeah. I feel like it come with a lot. Like, you got to be like real precise about everything. Because once you put it out there, it's definitely out there. Like, mm. so anything your partner or you do will be criticized on the internet. Yeah. And how, um, do you feel like you'll pop out with a girl? Or would you date somebody like in the industry, like an artist? Yeah. You um, would? Yeah. Okay. Some people like they was low key. I'm just asking. No. It's cool. Doesn't matter. Okay, that's what's up. Okay, so what advice would you give somebody that's in New York trying to come up on music? What advice would you give them that you wish you had when you was coming up? Um, I just say like, but always believe in yourself. Like even when like you feel like niggas around you or other people they not supporting what you got going on, like just always remember like, yo, I could really do the shit you heard. Like it's it's been done for me. That's just how the mindset I always kept. Like no matter what. I know I can make this shit happen, so I'm going to put in the work. Okay. All right. So I'm going to play a game. I'm going to start this sentence. You finish it. Like, I'll be like, my favorite color is, and then you'll be like. I bet. <laughs> All right. So I hate when. I hate. I my fault. <laughs> Long time. Okay. I hate when. I don't know. I hate a lot of shit. I hate when. I hate when, like. I don't know. I don't know what to say about for that one. I just hate a lot of shit though. <laughs> like, I just hate when like, word. That's all I can say. <laughs> word. I just hate that. Like, okay. I work my best when I. When I'm alone. When I'm by myself. Like I feel like when I'm by myself and shit, I, I, I work way better. Okay. I don't play when it comes to. My bitch. Okay. Stop my bitch. Don't touch that. Dip. <laughs> All right. I can't do business with you if. Um, if you're the opposition, of course. That's only. And if you don't pay. All right. <laughs> okay. My favorite song I wrote is. My favorite song is. I say EBK Chopper. No more ah. Uh, no right more now. What? No more ah. Uh, I can't fuck with a girl if she. I thought. You just say you like hoes though for a reason. Yeah, but like, nah, <laughs> 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 nah. Okay, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed that I know so little about. Like, what do you wish you know more of? Um. Shit. Don't even know. So you up to par on everything? Nah, I wish I just knew more about what's going on behind the scenes, like, with the world in general, like, all that technical government shit. I just wish I knew more about that shit. Like, I feel like a lot of shit now would have seen. Okay. From time to time, it's good to... Cheat. Yo, you're losing me. <laughs> you're losing me. <laughs> nah, verdict nah, shit. Tom Tom is gonna do that, though. You gotta really understand that. Like, from time to time, it's good to feel me. Leave home to see if home is where the home is where it's at. <laughs> that has to. Wow. The world would be a better place if. If it was less like niggas that want to be, if everybody would just be they self, the world would be a way better place. I feel like it'd be less violence and shit, or less dumb shit going on. And why do people. Um, I don't know. People do a lot of shit. I don't know why they do it. You gotta finish the sentence. Like, why do people blank? Like, what's something people do that's like annoying, stupid? Like, you know? I, I'm gonna say, why do people lie? I don't know why they lie, but they just do it. Cause they and just clearly lie. So do you. So like, what the fuck? <laughs> I only lie if I got to though. Okay. Like, I'd rather tell the truth, but I only lie if I got to. You should. You should always tell the truth. The secret to a happy life is to get money, 
for sure. I'm gonna be happy if you got money. All right. Get money in T. So tell the people where to find you. How can they tune in? Follow me on Instagram, EBK underscore Chopper, YouTube, Chopper EBK, Apple Music, Chopper EBK. Y'all know what's going on.